Hi everyone, uh, so as I promised, I said I'm gonna be posting a new video uh, about NCLEX. So I'm gonna be talking in this video about NCLEX, which is the state board exam for nursing. Uh, I mean, it's particularly for nursing. There's another NCLEX for uh, practical nursing. Uh, but this, the one that I'm gonna be talking about is about uh, uh, NCLEX uh, RN, okay, for registered nursing nurses. Okay, so, um, so like I said earlier, like in the other videos, I spoke about um, the entrance exam, which is the TEAS. Then that, that is the exam that you have to pass uh, in order to be accepted into uh, the nursing school. Uh, once, of course, you finish your prerequisites, you get the GPA uh, that is required and you pass the, the TEAS, you uh, get accepted into the nursing school. Uh, after that, of course, throughout the nursing program, you're going to be taking the, uh, all the exams, of course. Uh, but at the end of each semester, you'll be taking the HESI exit exam. Uh, so it is uh, NCLEX style questions that prepare you for NCLEX. Now, after graduation, after finishing the program and graduating with, a, with your nursing degree, um, you need to take the NCLEX, which is a state exam uh, that allows you to be certified as a registered nurse. Okay, so um, for for this particular exam so it's pretty much everything that you learned throughout the nursing program and uh, the sooner you take it the better okay because uh, once you finish the program you the information is still fresh uh, you don't want to wait too long um, because you know there's higher chances of passing the, the, the exam when you take it right after graduating okay some people they might go to work uh, as um, uh, like a, like an advanced tech technician like you know advanced uh, tech they call them advanced tech they call them uh, they can be nursing student interns uh, they can be uh, there's nursing student nurse intern one nursing student student intern two i mean depending on on um, if you graduated or not so it depends on the hospital and it depends on the um, the um you know the the role that they give you uh but anyways uh it is very recommended to take the the exam as soon as you finish well, it takes about a month. I mean, at least take at least a month to prepare. Um, there's so many, you know, um, resources that you can use. So many books or so many, I would say, uh, platforms that you can use. So for NCLEX, of course, the NCLEX Orange Book, the one that I've mentioned earlier in the other videos, it is uh, pretty much you're gonna be using it through other nursing program. But for me personally, I didn't use it. Uh, I can just, I'm just gonna give you I'm gonna put that in the description as well so you know the, the resources that I'm talking about the most um, uh, used one or the most common one actually is U world like the letter U and world W O R L D so U world most most students uh, use U world okay it, why because it has a very good rationale like when you take the, the questions and you in the answer you see like a very good rationale uh which is very good because it kind of explains the reason why that answer is correct okay that's one of the resources you can use ati by the way ati was uh part of the was given to us part of the school package so when you pay your tuition um sometimes the, the school will include that in the in your tuition so you don't have to pay it uh, so pay for it you don't have to pay for it uh, but the school actually gave it to us included so it was they gave us access and we did actually I did have like three day virtual training with an ATI uh, instructor which is it was very helpful it was a very good review about everything that we needed to know and then of course there is a, a, a bank like a quiz bank that you can use there's about like 3,000 questions uh, there's a lot of questions you can practice of course I did not do all of them there's imp it's impossible 
but I did as many questions as I could. Um, the it's recommended to take about 75 to 100 questions every day. So every day you need to take 75 to 100 questions every day and see how you score. If you score above 60, above 60%, you're good. So make sure you score 60% and above on uh, each set of questions that you take. I do like 75 questions um, every day. And uh, if you score 60% and above, you're very good. You're like, you're good uh, to go. You're very well prepared for the exam. If you see yourself scoring less than 60%, then you need to um, keep practicing. Um, so again, like I said, UWorld, uh, ATI, uh, Kaplan, Kaplan, I did use Kaplan as well. It is very good. It's similar to ATI, uh, similar style questions, but it, it was helpful. It's a little bit harder than your world, uh, but it is very good because it kind of prepares you uh, better uh, than your world. So that's at least in my opinion, in, in my experience. So I did not use your world, by the way. I used uh, ATI and Kaplan. So, and I did as much, as many questions as I could. Um, so there's so many questions that you can use, that you can practice. Um, just do as much as you can. Uh, so I took about, um, I would say a month, a month and a half, because I, did, I couldn't schedule my exam. So uh, I, I took about a month and a half, you know, which is, which is okay. And I, uh, and uh that was enough it was way enough for me to be honest it, a month is is okay but i took i took two more weeks because i didn't i couldn't um find an appointment at the date uh, that i wanted so i had to that's the only appointment that i found that month so yeah pre make sure that you schedule your appointments in advance as soon as you graduate because the the spots fill very very fast and uh, you don't want to drive um to a uh, another office you know that is too far from your house some people i heard that they had to drive four hours away so they can take the test because they couldn't find any you know open um appointments so yeah make sure you um you know you schedule your appointments and in advance because they are they they go so fast um so so yeah pretty much this is what's about this this exam it's just about everything you learned um and like I said, those are the, the platforms that you can use. You gotta have to purchase them. Uh, it's either your world, uh, Archer, that's another one, uh, ATI, Kaplan. Um, and then also the other thing that I'm gonna recommend you is to just listen to Mark uh, K. Just if you go on Google and search Mark K. Um, uh, on Google, he has 12 lectures. They're very, very good. Um, I highly, highly recommend you to listen to these. Well, if, if you're driving, if you're doing the dishes, if you're cooking, just, you know, just, just play those videos and listen to them. They're really, really good and take notes. Take good notes when it comes to electrolytes, uh, um, you know, Cushing, uh, Cushing syndrome, uh, you know, SADH, you know, all those diseases. And it kind of gives you very, very easy ideas and very easy ways on how to remember those symptoms and remember the side effects of uh, some of the medications and th things like that so uh, it's just i highly recommend that i mean i didn't find out until uh, i was about to prepare for NCLEX and i just found out that people have used it and and i started using it and it, it really really made a lot of things easier for me to um to understand and to and to retain because it's just the amount of the information is just huge and you cannot retain all that but it kind of gives you those tricks um on how to remember those um those concepts so uh, so yeah that's what i'm going to suggest i'm going to put on the descriptions all the resources that i've shared with you um so that way you you have them and um and like i said do not overwhelm yourself with so many resources you just choose one of one of them that you really like that it seems helpful to you and then just go with that um do not use i mean i did i used i used ati and then because it was provided by the school and then when i got access to kaplan then through my job i um they were put, they, it was offered uh by our hospital so i just i used it 
um, so and I used it uh, until the day before the NCLEX so just just use use that because it's similar but, but you know what but when I when I use cable and I stopped using ATI don't don't use two two things at the same time because it's just gonna confuse you okay all right so I think I covered everything about uh, about this exam okay yeah one thing you need to know after you graduate you are gonna have to apply uh, to the board of nursing of your state um, so just remember that there is fees uh, that are um, included that you're gonna have to pay of course you're gonna have to go through uh, you know well you're gonna have to do two applications one to the Florida I mean my, my state Florida but you're gonna do uh, one to your uh, board of nursing in your state and then another one to uh, Pearson which is like the where you're gonna be taking your test and then they will they will I think two hundred dollars for one of them and then the other I think it's a hundred and ten dollars uh, so total about four hundred dollars I mean no three three hundred dollar and some some change and then you're gonna have to uh, do your fingerprinting uh, so they can do a background check so keeping that keep that in mind and make sure that when you apply you uh, you put the right like first and last name first middle and last name because you have to have like when you go to the testing center uh, to take your test you're gonna have to they, your name has to match if your name doesn't match you're gonna have uh, trouble so they will they will tell you that you know when you're about to uh, to apply for that so this is just a, a quick uh, remark that I want to um, that I want to uh, you know um, you know mention uh, because it's very very important so just make sure so with the fingerprints and the both applications they'll cost you about four hundred dollars so just that just it's uh, something that you need to keep uh, keep in mind um, so and then and then the thing is if if you scheduled your appointment you have to uh, you ha you can you can cancel the appointment within 24 hours if you don't cancel within 24 hours uh, your 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 money is gone you cannot reschedule it you're gonna have to pay the fee again so just keep that in mind so that's pretty much about it and then you when you take your test and you pass you you know you um, when you take the test uh, you won't know the, if you passed or not until the next day so I know it's gonna you're gonna be a little, ner little bit nervous you don't know how you did uh, but usually um, if you well the, there's like about two the maximum number of questions that you can get is uh, I think 145 questions something like that uh, but if you do good and um, the way how this exam works is that uh, it just goes by how many questions you get right and how like how well you're doing with those uh, fundamental fundamental skills that you need to know if you answer those questions right even though you don't have to answer everything correct it's just like they see like a, a pattern of how you know those concepts if you know them uh, you're, you're good and that's it the, the exam you, it will shut off as soon as they, they determine that you're good you know your your basic skills as a nurse so and then um, like mine like most of the people uh, that i know they uh, their exam like shot off at 75 question and mine did uh, shut off at 75 question so uh, and then uh, if you get a lot of select all that apply questions that means you're doing good because they're giving you those questions that are a little bit harder so that means you're doing good and your school you're, you're you know you know you're like you're you're getting it like you uh, you're answering all those questions right that, that means okay the system says okay let's give let's give that student like a, a harder question which is like a select all that apply so if you see yourself getting select all that lot, lot of selects all that apply that means you're doing great and um, most likely the, the exam will start off at 75 so so that means yeah that's the minimum uh, amount of um, the minimum number of questions you can get is 75 questions so so that's uh, that's about it. I think I covered everything. I hope I did not forget anything, but this is exactly what you need to know about the NCLEX. Um, so the resources that you need to use, which I'm gonna put in, put in the description, the, uh, the application process, like I said, two applications, background check and everything uh and uh and uh try to schedule the appointment and well in uh, well ahead because um you know seats go fast and you cannot secure an appointment within a month month and a half uh and uh oh and then and then one more thing that i want to just mention the the you the the 
the ink like style will be different starting uh, on April 1st. So uh, April 1st uh, and beyond, uh, whoever is gonna take that exam, the NCLEX RN, will be getting the next generation NCLEX. They call it next generation. It is harder, it is um, different style question. Instead of getting like a question and then uh, you know the multiple choice, you're gonna still gonna get the multiple choice, but, but they're gonna get a case study which is they're going to give them a case study and then like you know like a whole scenario and then they're going to give you uh, all the data like including the lab work the 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 vital signs the nurses notes the doctor's notes uh it's like everything and you have to read all that before you can answer the question that is time consuming and uh it is hard at the end of my exam uh they gave me a number which i'm sure everybody else who took the, the exam before april 1st uh they they got like a 30 questions it's a try trial like it's just uh, to try and see how students will do uh how they you know how they how how are they gonna score uh for me it was time consuming already because i i finished my test i'm already you know um exhausted <laughs> mentally because you gotta think right and then i got those questions where you have the case study you gotta read all that you gotta read all the lab results you know the lab work and and um you know and and it's just like it's a lot of reading that you have to do before you can can answer the question and i've been already exhausted you know i don't know i think the uh that they're gonna have to they, they said that they, they're gonna give partial credits like if you if you have select all that apply and you don't get all the answers that are correct like they might give you partial credit uh which they didn't do like in like before april 1st so i think they're gonna compensate um so people can can score and you know, can pass i guess so so yeah that's that's what i was gonna say um i think i think i covered everything yeah while i'm talking i still i remember if i'm if i forgot everything if, if i forgot in, uh, something but i believe i did everything yeah i just want to mention that of, uh, to you guys because um you're gonna have a different new NCLEX style which is NCLEX generation so and they're gonna probably they're gonna have uh, those resources i'm sure the u world and ati capelin and all those resources they will be uh having uh they will change you know the type of questions that you will be practicing of course so you can um you can uh, practice these uh these these specific questions that have case studies and uh and all that the, the data so it is um it is uh it is uh, it, it's not hard just to be because a lot of people say oh it's a hard it's a hard a lot of people of course i mean a lot, I heard a lot of people didn't pass the first time. A lot of people failed it tw twice. Some failed it three times before they pass. But it is doable. It is, you know, don't. It's. It depends on the way how you study, the way how you retain the information. Um, it's all about your studying strategies. If you study well and you retain and you know what to the things that you ha you must know versus the it's good to know you know i'm sure that your teachers will say that like when they do their lectures they will tell you what well, this is you it's a must know like like you ha must know it and then they will tell you something else this is a good to know like it's good to know it but it's not necessarily you don't have necessarily to know it so just focus on the things that you must know because those are the things you're going to be tested on okay all right uh well thank you so much for listening i hope um this video will be very very helpful for those of you who will be um, taking their NCLEX uh, or anyone else who just want to have information about that. I hope that will be helpful and beneficial for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.